Hi, welcome to another episode from The Couch. My name is Thais and today I'm going to do a quick video on JSON pretty printing. We all love JSON, don't we? It's a great format for data structures in JavaScript, to transport data in web services, or just to store data in flat files. But oftentimes the JSON data is not formatted. It's one line of blob, one line of data, which is hard to read, so we need to pretty print it. And there's plenty of ways to format JSON in a human readable way. But oftentimes it involves writing custom scripts. Now look no further, there is a quick one-liner to do this. There is a command using the Python binary that allows you to format JSON in a human readable format. The Python binary has a set of options you can pass to it and one of the options is minus m json.tool. It's just a matter of piping all your data to the Python binary and you're good to go. This example involves using the command line. I have a random data JSON structure stored on disk in a file called data.json. By using the cat command, I can output the file. It's very dull, hard to read, lacks proper indentation, and lacks new lines where necessary. You want to pretty print it and make it more human readable. We do that by passing the output of the cat command as the input of our Python command and add the proper options. Options being minus m json.tool. As you can see, the output contains new lines and has proper indentation and is way easier to read. It's not restricted to files on disk. We can also grab the output of a JSON web service. We use the curl command for that. By adding the minus s parameter to curl, we make it silent, so no meta information. The only output that comes out of the web service is the JSON that we need. And in the very same way, we pipe it to the JSON binary, add the minus m json.tool, and you have yourself some pretty printed output. Here's an example of using the Wikipedia API and outputting a document using JSON formatting. The data is not pretty printed. It is very, very hard to interpret it. But by using our little trick, it's easy to understand and we see the different data structures. Hope this makes sense to you. That was kind of easy, wasn't it? Just a one-liner, a quick one, and that's all we need. So use python minus mjson.tool and it'll be just fine for pretty printing JSON. Thanks for checking it out. More of these tips and tricks videos coming out soon. Cheers.